It's Dr. Tara Scott. So maybe you just found out that you have MTHFR. So what next? Well, first of all, MTHFR, as I mentioned, is only one enzyme in a very complicated biochemical pathway called methylation. The first thing you have to understand is it, ma it does make a difference how many genes are, are mutated. You get one copy from your mother, one copy from your father, and there's a couple different locations for MTHFR that we test for. One is 677, one is 1298. So it's been found out that about 50% of the population have one abnormal copy of MTHFR. So that's a pretty common statistic. Um, is it because we have more mutations? Is it because this is spontaneous? We don't really know. Um, if you have two copies uh, at the same location at 677, you would be homozygote. If you have one, you'd be heterozygote. If you had one copy of each of the locations, 677 and 1298, that's what we call a compound heterozygote. So again, it does make a difference what you have as far as what the implication is. There are lots of other enzymes involved in the pathway of even folic acid met metabolism or methylation. One is COMT, one is dihydrofolate reductase. So again, you need to work with a practitioner that knows about all of these instead of just thinking that you have to take high doses of folic acid. And that's the other thing. What is the difference between folic acid and methylfolate? Well, having MTHFR means that you can't convert folic acid into a reduced form of folate, 5-MTHF, and to be able to get it into the cells and to be able to use it. So in my obstetric days, when we found out that someone had MTHFR, we gave them high dose folic acid, four milligrams. And the problem is, is that the studies were done on these patients and saw that there really wasn't an improvement in obstetric outcomes because they were using synthetic folic acid. And too much synthetic folic acid is gonna slow the whole thing down. So if you do have MTHFR and you decide to supplement with methylated folic acid, you have to make sure that's what you're taking. And you might wanna consider not taking anything with folic acid in it. So that's what's in our cereal, that's what's in a lot of our uh, fortified things. You have to check your labels and see, does it say folate or folic acid?